Uh, for training side of things, um, training uh, one muscle group each workout. So it's called the bro split or uh, what normally people do when they go to the gym, which is like chest on a Monday, back on a Tuesday, shoulders on a Thursday, arms on a, Thursday, on a Friday, and then have a day off in the week or, or whatnot. And you and you do one specific body part, maybe two, maybe chest and arm, maybe chest and biceps, uh, back and back and triceps. And uh, why is that not as effective as something that has more frequency and volume or a different setup? So the goal of hypertrophy or the goal of getting bigger, uh, getting stronger, uh, relates to two things, frequency and intensity. From the research, the more times you stimulate a muscle, so how many times you, you, you create the cascade of responses within the, in the muscle tissue to get bigger, um, the better it is for uh, the, the opportunity for growth. So the more times you ignite the fire, the more time and more opportunity that the fire has to burn effectively. And uh, what we know from the research is that probably two to three times per week, if you stimulate that muscle, one muscle, two to three times a week, you're getting better opportunities for growth than if you would do just one per week. Now, if you think about this is that it's all about how fast you, you can recover as well. If you completely trash a muscle group on a Monday and you go for it completely and do you know five to 10 different exercises for that one specific muscle group, you're gonna be sore and not be able to do that muscle group again for another seven days. So we lose out the ability to have that frequency and stimulate the muscle more than once per week. Now, if we take less uh, trashing per week and we take half of that volume, so half of the 10 sets, maybe 10 exercises and put five, put five on a Monday and, and five on a Thursday, you get two opportunities for muscle stimulus with the same amount of volume and you've probably recovered from Monday to Thursday because you haven't completely trashed it. So the goal is to give as much stimulus as you can recover from over a week to week basis. So if you're just starting off, you may get three sessions or two sessions or four sessions, depending on what I put you on, uh, where you're stimulating muscles maybe twice a week. And, and that way you can get the adequate amount of stimulus and then all we have to do is take care of how much progress you're making on a week to week basis and how much, how many sets you're doing. And the second thing, so frequency is the first one. So how frequent we, we stimulate that muscle to get that fire burning uh, and, and growth mechanism. The second one is volume. So how many sets times how many reps times how much weight that you use will often be a dictating factor over time uh, with how much you can grow and how much strength you can build because if you think about what progressive overload is, if you think about what uh, getting more weight on the bar is every single week or getting more reps, it's volume. It's two more reps times the sets times weight that you're going to get. And over time, progressive overload takes care of an increase in volume. So we just have to make sure that over time we're progressing our overload and we're giving enough volume for your muscle groups to, to get stimulated, to, to, get the, to achieve that signaling process. And once we can do that, uh, we will then get that level of growth that you really want or everyone does want from, from building shape or building strength and, and, and getting bigger. And then over time, it's managing that volume to ensure that you're not burning out, you're not overtraining, you're not under recovering and you are putting yourself in a situation where you can do that over time for, for six to 12 months in blocks. And that, that's why uh, stimulating muscle groups more frequently and not going for one muscle group on a uh, over a one day period and just completely trashing it is a much better idea because you get a better physiological response and also you don't tr completely trash it in one day trash all your joints doing the same loads of different exercises in the same movement pattern and then coming back around seven days later to do the exact same thing